already there. I'm not gonna lie. And you, I know you can't control that part, but you kind of edging us and saying, "Oh yeah, he's gonna be there." You can't be doing that, bro. Rolling you Loud can't. also did everything they could to ensure Cardi would be there. Well, they didn't do a good enough. Yeah, job they they no, they do a good enough job. No, nah, that's can't their fault. That's their fault. Uh, Jules, I went to the the listening party in New York, and he was people there. People are human beings and individuals that make up their own minds. Like like people could have full that's contracts fine. and everything, and not get on a flight. That's fine, but they didn't. I mean, they you can't say they did. A good enough job. But did, I never saw Rolling Loud announce that Cardi was going to be there. Yeah, I don't think well, that's Rolling Loud's fault. Well, they also teased it. So. Okay, Rolling Loud is on stage. Uh, go ahead, Rolling Loud. Facts. Thank you, Jules. That's all you have to say? But yeah, come on. Come on, Rolling Loud. That's you all you have better. to say? No, check. I'm just here to listen. No, no, no. You're in speaker mode. You're not in listening mode. So okay. what do you have to speak about? Rolling Loud, I have a question to you. Jules guys. is actually, Jules is actually you... kind of defending you guys, saying that you guys did your best and you guys posted the flyer that was given to you. So, like, I feel like for your sake, for y'all's sake, you should at least give some explanation because you have a lot of angry, disappointed fans. I guess you know? what I will say to you guys, just so you know, I could tell by the voice that the person that runs this account is not one of the owners of the brand. Yeah, he has no idea. So just, not about no idea, but just like I have to be careful when I speak on behalf of a, a platform or a brand, I'm sure the person running this account is also, yeah, probably freaking out right now. Here. Like, what did hey, I do uh, coming uh, in uh, here? Retweeting, re retweeting, trolling stuff and pissing off fans even more, that also speaks on behalf of the brand, doesn't it? Yeah, rolling loud. It, well, what I what I think is that what Jules is saying is obviously they can't speak on behalf of Tariq and the brand, but they can listen to our feedback, and mm -hmm. I I hope that they're taking notes and they understand what the Yay fans are feeling. So I do think we can give our opinions, but let's not force the person running Rolling Loud social media to speak. I think we don't want anyone to be fired. It's a recession. I do. <laughs> Not it's a recession. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone should be fired. And I love because you. You're so well spoken. Why not? <sighs> yeah, the host of this space is amazing. I would love to work with you on like a radio show or something. You're so great. There you go, Jen. 1 a.m. creative. Okay, but why is he up oh, here if he's not going to... Do you talk? have anything to say yeah, to yourself, Mr. Rolling Loud? Yeah, is there anything that you can say, Rolling Loud, uh, okay. moderate? Roll, yeah, Rolling Loud. Like, there's allegations out there that you guys lied about knowing that he wasn't performing, or in the other way, that you guys did know... You thought he was performing, but he wasn't. And you're sitting up there and you're tweeting about it. So, are you going to talk about that or are you going to say like no we had no idea or hey we were led to believe by yay's camp that he was in fact performing uh can you allude to that i mean if you if you don't feel comfortable saying anything then i there's no point in being up here on speaker you're wasting a spot but we uh, we're open ears okay see this is a waste I, of time. I think they can stay ace let's just be yeah. nice yeah. uh <laughs> okay but it's like why why are they Sex, if you made your point, oh, um, exactly. <laughs> like, I'm not sure where you guys were. I think guys. Rolling Loud's still here. I think they just took their mic off of you. Oh, okay. Sex, just... if you if you made your point, um, I'm gonna remove you so that I could bring some other persons up. Okay, I think he made his point, so we can bring someone else up. Is Rolling Law going to answer the question? No, they're not going to answer shit, shit, dude. We we could literally have so many people from the concert come up here and tell them how bad Ace. their show was. And they Ace, you're well, literally just I don't fueling can... a ton of fucking hate right now. And it's just, like, so unnecessary and not productive. Like, I think, yeah, if we want to be productive, you, like, yeah, let's be we productive. could give notes to the Rolling Loud uh, person that's in here on why, what it is that they did have control of that could have been better. And from what I heard... Uh, rolling Loud, it, I'm obviously in Miami, unemployed, chilling right now. But um, what I heard was that all the fans had to wait a long time to get in, that there was people that had to wait over an hour uh, to get inside, and that once they got in, he had already started the show. 
Um, and that it started later than it was advertised, which I know you guys have no control over also. Um, but perhaps just their experience getting in, apparently there was like electricity going out. Um, and this is not, I'm just summarizing what I heard, um, at the security checkpoints, et cetera. So people just feel that they paid a high, uh, a high end ticket price for a not high end user experience. And it, it obviously aside from, you know, everybody being upset that Ye didn't touch the mic, but I have explained that that is not in your control. Also, the, the trolling the trolling fans is not cool either, I feel like. I don't know, maybe that's funny to y'all, but, like, you know, like, trolling fans makes... Obviously, nobody's going to see... Well, the people who are running the Twitter account is separate from the actual owners. Like, nobody's looking at it like that. They're looking at it as... Y'all, they feel scammed, and they're being trolled online by the company. So, I feel like... I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Dude, that I fucking would... intern should not be in here. Like, wh- why is Rolling Loud <laughs> in here to go on speaker mode just to fucking troll? Like, dude. What's the what's the tweet that in specific that you guys felt was a troll? They retweeted it. Look, look at the I'm Jumbotron, Jules. It, there's a, the, the uh, Patriot J called them out because there's multiple screenshots. The, there's a Tweet saying, Rolling Loud, uh, is Ye actually going to perform or just stand there? They replied, No, 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 perform. that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about easy updates using that meme of Ye saying gotcha, and they retweeted it. Yeah. To troll. No, they've been trolling, but they also said, they uh, the, the, this user says, is he performing or is it a listening party? The most basic question, it's, it's a yes or no. They say you don't see listen experience on the Yeezy flyer, do you? They're trolling right now. We've already talked about that. Yeah, no, they're fucking around. Fuck you. Yeah, we talked about the flyer. We literally already. And then after, and then after the concert, they're like, they started posting, "I'm just here to get paid. I'm just here to get paid." Well, they're tweeting. They're they're fucking around. They're (laughs) quoting his lyrics, like. Oh, um, yeah, you're so sad. You're going to put an emoji uh, reaction. You're so sad, Rolling Loud. You guys fucking suck. I will say, suck. after Ye got canceled, like, <laughs> Ye's down, 2022 <laughs> Rolling Loud was the only festival that stood with Ye. He, they literally posted free Ye on their story when everyone was against him. So I will say that they have stood by him. And I do also think that they've always been trolls. Like, it's like, what's that other account? Is it Wendy's? There's, like, another fast food place. that Slim has- Jim. One of them trolls. I think that's like their brand. I was just going to say it's pretty on brand for them to <laughs> respond accordingly. And it's not like they could make a statement that wouldn't yeah. piss off the talent that they're in business with. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like exactly. what, what can they say? Like, hey, guys, uh, sorry, you were disappointed. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're not going to if they were like in here crying about it and like apologizing, that's going to make them look more bad. Speaking about apology. Uh, I would like to move forward with positive energy, and I see that you're very able to be a non-biased and um, give grace to Rolling Loud and others. So well, I would just like to offer this opportunity now for us to move forward and for you to perhaps give me that same grace. And um, yeah. Well, I'm on mushrooms, so I'm in a nice mood. Um. No, I think that, you know, I've been thinking a lot about everything since you obviously left yesterday and, you know, the small experience I did get to see. And I do think, like, I still feel wronged by you from, like, the experience I had. And I do think some of the things that in your head, you twisted them. And I think you actually believe what you're saying. And I think I believe my reality to be true. And I don't think we're going to come to an agreement on that. But I feel like woman to woman, we probably, I'm going to stop going hard at you because like, it's not nice. But I do feel like I did, I felt like I was standing on business and I don't regret the first expose because I did truly feel like you were 
scamming and shit. Like I told you. How okay? How did I scam you? A scam would be me well, extorting you, you for money or making money off of you. You emailed me multiple times before we ever met, asking me to come on your show. You One reached time, out to my Myra, team. Myra, you reached Myra out did. to my team. I finally <laughs> invited you to my hotel. Invited you to come for dinner and drinks, which I would have fed you, but you were late, an hour late. So when you did come, you had a drink. I had already eaten my food, um, and then I also invited you up to my room, had a conversation with you, shared my joint with you. You felt upset because I told you that you were interrupting me too much because you were. You literally didn't let me speak once. I don't know if you were like on Coke or Adderall or just like hyped up from coffee. Okay. I really want you to speak, both of you, but uh, I don't think like unfounded personal insults should be a part of the conversation. You guys can both give your truth your truth, Emily, your truth, yes, Jules. And then let's see how we can meet in the middle, but let's not like throw petty shots right now. No, I'm not trying to be petty. It's just that I've, I've experienced Jules <laughs> in different situations. And there's times when the conversation is back and forth, but that night it felt very one-sided and I had just met you. And I was like, this girl won't let me talk at all. Like, even if I was saying like, mm-hmm, or yeah, you were like, stop interrupting me. Yay would hate you if he ever met you. And I was really turned off by that. And then you told me to leave the hotel and get back to work. And then I literally did go work on the seating document. And I just kind of felt like you thought I was this like little slave bitch. And I, I'm not. And then the whole underwear thing. Yeah, it was fine because you needed help. And I said, yeah, I can do it. And I did it. But then it was weird that I didn't get paid back for it, it went two weeks went by and you had okay blocked. you why well, it was weird that you didn't get paid back i blocked you because you blew up right my but then phone. tommy wasn't answering. and you blew up my yeah because i told tommy fuck this bitch because you were posting and dragging and slandering no, I, my you name didn't pay, you didn't pay okay, me back until let's I just say, let's just hold excuse me you got your 70 dollars back so after so, i went public hold on hold on excuse me I let you talk, now let me talk. And I let you say extremely crazy things about me, by the way. And the fact that I'm responding as 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 calmly I, as yeah, I am. I thought it could have been coffee. Okay. So like I said, I'm not gonna describe how you were acting and why I felt the need to tell you. And I have never in my life, and I could put this on my daughter, I have never told anyone to stop talking or stop interrupting in my life. Like, okay, so so clearly you had your vision of how I was. I had my vision of how you were. And I just told you, if you ever meet Ye, do not be like this with him because he will hate it. And guess why you were like, oh, because you met Ye and you I, were like that with him. Not, that's but not so, what but, 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 so It doesn't know, matter. I do know why. Yes. But so I do know why because I spoke to him know. directly about it. I spoke to him directly about I it. I met Ye for five minutes in person. You're and acting in, like I had a crazy experience. And our okay. five minutes was Anyways, really good. It doesn't it matter. The bad. point we're going to move forward, but the point is the, the the whole point is that I want to clear up here is even if you felt like I was rude, even if you felt like even if I was on fucking ketamine, it doesn't matter. That has nothing to do with you and I wasn't scamming you in any way shape or form. So you are not going to continue to put my name and that word in the same sentence. Period. We could talk about it right now. Describe the scam. The you wanted to work with Yay. You have posted and had a show covering all things Yay for over a year. Where you're scamming, you're no, charging I'm people not. And to come on your low. show. That's you're the building a whole over. brand off of this man's name, First and then when he all, doesn't retweet you, you say you're going to go see Drake. Bitch, Let's what is really call a op? What you, a op is? The reason, this is insane. The reason you got let go is because you literally don't understand satire or humor. You have no idea what I've done. I've I've put Personal. thousands of dollars into my own podcast. You were literally making 15k a month to get fans. Did, to do first your of all, that's not what I was making. You. I was making way I saw more than your that. Sex, you did not see my contract because that's not I what I was making. And I second of all, it doesn't Snow matter. Photoshop? You're not answering the question. Where's the scam? If How did making, I scam you? Why were you asking fans in that? How thing? did I scam you? You had me do two documents. You said you were going to pay me two hundred fifty dollars through the seating document, which I completed, and I never got the first money. First of all, first of all, everybody in this room needs to know. I invited this woman to come and work on things that she was already doing for free. She what are came you talking and worked. About? Excuse Dude, me. I have a marketing on, agency you're, of my own. She came of, and did it, this. She came and did this stuff, and then held you act to like hold because people have our document hostage for free. and demanded that I put her Nobody on a phone call. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I you didn't. demanded. I have it in writing. Myra's that here. Myra. Myra. Myra's Myra. here. Myra, come up and talk. Asked you. 
Did you or did you not? Ex- it, we, did we you or did you not right demand here. that I put you on the phone with Yay at midnight? I'll and what did I say? I said, and, "Are you crazy?" I said, "Why would I then, put you on the phone with Yay? I never promised to put you on the then, phone with Yay at midnight." I and guess what I said, Jules? So I, I blocked no you. Problem. It was a misunderstanding. Let's talk in the morning. I have the screenshot right here. And then you no, said, no, because you called I'm me calling multiple times and then wrote that. No problem. It's a misunderstanding. It's not a misunderstanding when yes, you call me was. back to back at the same time. I said, no, I don't you're feel just comfortable. I don't literally feel psycho. No, you're a fucking manipulative. You're past- this is this is really interesting. I muted both of both of you, by the way. For the name calling. But yeah, if you'd like I mean, to speak respectfully, you can unmute now. I do. I would respectfully get still love to know where is the scam. If Emily I just feels told, I just that she should have gotten two hundred and fifty dollars for a document that she never finished and held finished, hostage and demanded to be put on the phone it. with Yay, like I, I of, of course I blocked you and never spoke to you again. What because was the you document? Respectfully. The document was literally a list of people that we were seeding pods. Then why couldn't and you to, talk and, and my to team it, had already made it, had already started it. Well, then why it doesn't you matter talk, if you would have never went to take accountability for your act. That's insane. <laughs> what you, I will take, say, take a breath, both of you. Yeah, don't be no, screaming. No, we shouldn't have muted that. That was hilarious. No, because no, Emily, Myra, like, you're the third party you can't here. Be I really thought we were going somewhere. No, I'm it. just saying. Yeah, I'm I just letting you guys work it out right now. If my I was trying to be mature. Up, I offered you the opportunity to move forward because it seemed like you had the ability to be a normal, cognizant human being who, who could be non-biased in a situation and take accountability and move forward. So I offered that. You moment also can't. An opportunity. Yeah, I also can stop calling me a scammer before, like, literally, do not call me a I scammer. Have given, even your friend Eddie has been trying to get us to make up multiple times. Listen, and you, you don't even get it. me started on Eddie. You do not even get me started. Up. We're not talking about Eddie. We're talking about Emily and the fact that she has yet to take accountability for coming on my phone and demanding I that not, she be put in touch with Yay to what present I did. a I document said. that my team worked on with her. You didn't work on to it. Him. You didn't work on the document. My team worked on team? the document with you. The people that I pay at One no. Creative, Bell and Tommy, Tommy and my they team. They weren't. That wasn't what I was. That is not what happened. Meyer and I made. Where's the document. scam? Where's the scam? Dude, I already said it. You had no, to do this take accountability back. for the fact that you blew everything up. We had a you, good thing going. Fans were actually working together. We were going to present something. And I had a whole vision for us investing as easy into the fans. I wanted to put a $1 million into the fucking fans. And what? you ruined it because you wanted to be selfish and, I, it up about and, me. and demand to be put in touch with him. Why? So, of course, I'm not going to pay you. Two hundred and fifty dollars. No, after Jules, you, you were completing your promises, so I I got a sketched out feeling, and so I reached out to someone at Easy and said, "Does she have the authorization to be delegating these tasks to us?" And I wasn't said, delegating not. tasks. Those are she tasks that I was given. Those were ideas we discussed that we were said we were going to work on to propose to they, Yay. They never gave you permission to delegate. People, pe- listen, excuse me. I wasn't delegating tasks that my boss gave me. We were ideating just like if we in this space right now start talking about ideas for Ye and we start coming up with ideas for him and I'm like, okay, let's get ready to propose this to him. We're going to get it organized. Let's organize who we want to see this stuff to. Let's present it this way. Yeah, I'm not delegating you by choice, willingly. I needed with I trust- me and wanted to work with me on things. If you want I your 250 didn't, bucks, I'll send you your 250 out. bucks, baby girl. Do not ever in your life call me a scammer again. I what? never I had to scam anybody you, for anything in my life. You need to let me speak. You, at the beginning, me and you had a good thing going. Everything was No, fine. we never had a good thing going. As you described from the woman I met you, no. I told you you were annoying. At the very and that's why fun- you don't like me. At the You've very, been annoying since the second I met you and I told you and you didn't like that. At the, Just get over it. You also you can say I'm a bitch. You can tell people I'm a bitch. Do not call me a scammer. I was like the document more, finished? I feel like you are more of a scammer than a bitch. <laughs> okay. How? I've explained it. He keeps interrupting me. Was the document no, finished? No, because all I have heard is that you were demanding something from That's her. That's not what happened. That, I have every single Did you or did you not just say that okay, you were Okay, but you're saying she scammed you, but you're saying, like, you're Myra, do you feel document? scammed? Myra wasn't part of the whole entire experience. Yes, she was. 
Myra came in on the I third day. I have your text of you asking me to put her in the group chat from the Listen, beginning. And I, sorry. You won't shut the fuck up. I'll just post all the screenshots again. All right, no, Myra, look, 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 Myra we, we need, you're, you're the good. The way that Myra's talking to me is so this. crazy, and I'm not even going to say nothing what? crazy in this space, but in real life, Myra, I'm sorry, yeah. Myra, uh, in real life, Emily, I really hope that you come see me. I what really you hope you come see me what in real life. Like a fucking wrestling match? Like, shut the fuck out. No, not a wrestling match. Like, people oh, wow. like you get their ass beat for saying the bullshit that you say right now. Oh. Like slandering somebody's name. And you're you? not about to come and play with my career after Jules, 10 years of one me one putting one. real work in. You're not about Jules, to come here and call me a scammer guys, because I will beat your guys, fucking guys, ass. Yay, guys, so well, hold on. I Hold spent on. two years defending Ye, and you t the first Ye meets me, wants me to help you, and the first thing you say to him is that I'm a fucking unhinged bitch, and that you I'm are. a D-page. So you fuck are. you, Jules, because you- You dragged my name you for a promise. week. Why would I not call you a D-page, unhinged bitch? You promised promise that you're going to introduce all these fans. Well, guess what? I, I never promised anybody. Everybody you're I spoke still to promising said people. that I, I didn't promise them anything. You're the only liar claiming I promised no. you something. Jules, show me so the I promise. Meet, I meet Yay. Screenshot the promise and put it out there. I, Where's your receipt of the doing, scam? You literally tell people like, yeah, I'm gonna enter. I'm gonna. It's the second. Who? I can, who have I ever said that to in my life? I have never promised anybody I was gonna introduce them to Yay. I don't. You understand. are not gonna keep playing with me and putting words in my mouth. I just don't think that you understood what marketing. I just meant. don't think you understand. That you you have a couple brain cells missing, and I never promised you that you were gonna meet your idols, baby I, girl. I, I, I never told care. you nothing. I said if we work hard and present an idea to him, and he can see that the fans are valuable to him, then he is gonna give us budget to invest in the fans. That was my vision, and, my and it still is my vision. And I think that the fans who are not like you and are not all self centered and all about themselves because let's be real you have spent more time hating in the past few months than you have actually promoting this man and his music that's not true so if I've you were really a real fan thing. even when we were in a fight i'm the only person that promoted the pods when they were 200 oh, well, we, so, hey, so, so, so so okay, okay. You're, 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 you're not the only lying. person you are not the only person no i'm the only person no i made a that's podcast that's besides the point what i want to ask no it's is, not besides the point because people seem to only care about the music but the, the actually no that is not true girl that is not true okay but no i'm just saying that i spent my own money i every single time i do a podcast it's 250 to edit i put my own money into it and that was literally a 14 it's not about you. That's it's what I said to a guy in the space bitch, the other day. It's not finish. about you. It's about yay. It's, it's about, always been about yay, yay. And helping. I'm not on the payroll. You're making a salary. I'm putting my own money out of my own I pocket did. to help you. Okay, yay. but it's not about you. Okay. I we, just, we, we, but we got, you willingly did we, that Kanye's post. Just like we yes, all so what, put so time into our pages to support You were sitting there. She was sitting there posting. Oh, she was mad because Ye wasn't reposting her. When Ye started reposting other fans, I just want to see proof. I just want to see proof of what you're accusing. Of like, where's the proof? Like, because all of this is he say she say, like, yeah, whatever. Kanye's post, can so, you post where is some the, of the proof? Of also, yeah, no show, them, show me you. promising because scamming, scamming is a very big yeah, accusation. I'll post, I'll post everything. Mayra, I'm write a or, is it Mayra okay. or Myra? Myra, okay, Myra. No, 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 we, let's we be got clear. you in here. We're asking you to post the proof of being scammed. Yeah, we just want to see Myra. Can we get your me saying I promise I'll introduce you to him? Show me saying that. I don't even care. I didn't care to be introduced. What I cared about was being valued for the time and energy I was putting into the work. And once I saw that you were posting things that I was saying, creative ideas. Bro, on Twitter I as posted own, one thing that you care. said that was, a, was quote, a really and it good, was a quote. It doesn't matter. Jules, that is not a scam. Quote. If you're mad that I fucking Jules, quoted something, I, I that's one thing. Do slogan. not say scam. Out, call me a bitch. Call slogan. me a biter. Do not call me a scammer. So what Why idea do you You still have yet to define... How you've been scammed? You were stealing intellectual copyright. You also no, I was not. Why did you have everybody sign an NDA under the false pretense that we were working for Yeezy? I Everything never. You did it said weird. one a.m. It was my company. I never said that you it were working matter. for Yeezy. It doesn't matter. Yeezy said you had no right to do that. I Yeezy think... can't tell me that I can't ask Jules that owns one a.m. Go have a fucking meeting with people that I meet on the internet you, you and can't. have them sign a one a.m. NDA. Not when you're making it seem like you're a contractor of Yeezy. Yay that time knew you I worked. was talking to fans, and I I'm not. Talked yeah, like I, I talked to four people I said, at the company what? that said you did not have the authorization to f force fans to I don't signing care. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now music. what the truth is. I don't care yeah, who you I'm, talk I'm to at the company. Know. The people at the company think you're crazy. 
then why are they all talking to me every day? If you because they're the using you have, to get me out of there no, because they don't not. want me they're there because I'm the most productive team member that's been around and I'm then honest and I tell Ye how it is. And there's a bunch of blood suckers over there and I'm going to tell the truth always. Then why did you get fired if you're the most productive person on the team? Because, because helped Milo fucking TMZ the shit out Ooh. of her. You can't blame Thank you, Milo Myra. For please spill the tea. I've been waiting for you to speak up. Thank you. Yeah, you yeah. Let's get Myra in here because you know there's a little a third opinion on this. How the fuck does Myra know? She hasn't had any interaction with the team. I want yes, to she know. She's actually I... in touch with more people on the team than you because everybody doesn't think she's crazy. Myra's networking. She's been going to the show. She's on the list. She has friends and family. I, was literally you just at the, I literally just went friends and family tonight. What are you talking about? I was backstage okay. tonight. Yeah, because you've been using you Steven Smith the whole time. You used Steven Smith to get in there. What do you, Myra, you're the one that I introduced you to Steven. I have texts of Myra saying, let's just wait and watch Jules fall. So you're okay with yeah, that? Yeah, at the Jules? beginning of all this operation. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm okay everything. with it. She I told me to I'm Jules. fine because she, <laughs> unlike you, was <laughs> able to come clean and be accountable. I talk to Jules about every single thing because that's the only way to clear anything up is to completely be honest about everything. And I have other connections other than you, Emily. Like, I know a lot of other people. Why are you just a degenerate in Arizona doing nothing? Well, well, why nice do you thing to say about up. somebody no, no, no. who helps you why build do you your brand? Always, why do you always my have brand? to? My can, you not, res, can you just so answer right. the question directly instead of deflecting with an insult? Because it's not productive. No, I can't. I can't. Okay. okay, well, then you can't be in this space. Okay, because we're yeah. all respecting each other here. And as okay. much as I want to tell you that you're a cunt, I'm not. Ooh. Wait, so <laughs> Jules, what? And wait, also, hey, I, I, just never... wish, I just want to wish you guys both a happy um, unemployment later. <laughs> Wait, so Kanye's womp, post, womp. what exactly did Jules... Oh, she she left. left. Okay. Well, that's she's wrong. never going to be I able to answer this question. You can throw rocks and hide your hand and not like... That's like that's really weird. That's that really weird whole conversation like that. was Myra, unproductive you, because she was I just think insulting we were instead of answering questions. Like it was Here's deflecting and insulting. Deflecting, insulting. Well, how is that productive? You're not answering how... You're not answering questions to prove your point. I think it was getting. I think it was getting good. Yeah, because you no. love mess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Sometimes it's good to just get Myra, it all out. Do you know? Do you feel? Do you feel that you would have in my position after the way you guys called me? And so here's what happened, guys. One hundred percent. We worked on a doc. Why we, we worked. Hold on. Let me tell. The, we worked on a document together that I led the ideas on. That I said, "This is what we're gonna do." Blah 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 blah. And then Emily, yes, put the work into actually taking those ideas and typing them up and putting them into a a, a, a Google Doc. It literally takes not that long for that aspect of it, right? right. And. And then you, her and Myra worked on it on their own. I didn't tell her to go further ideate or add any other things to it or anything. Like, they went and did that. And then I'm going to sleep after doing a video shoot all day. I'm exhausted. I'm, like, sleep deprived. They know how tired I am. I even said, I'm so exhausted. They were like, yo, we really want to show you the presentation. I'm like, I'm so exhausted. I'm going to go to sleep right now. Um, like, let's look over it in the morning. Then they, then my phone starts blowing up after I go to sleep. My phone is like vibrating. I'm like, what's going on? I go, I go to answer my phone. It's, it's Emily with her partner who I didn't even know at the time. I, I hadn't even like connected with her as, as much as Emily. And they're telling me that the document's done and they're ready to show Kanye. And I'm like, what? Right. I'm like, it's midnight. And then they're like, yeah, but we've been working on this all day and we really just feel like this is the, per you know, he's saying that he, he wants something with soul and we know that our proposal has soul and we really just feel like this is the perfect thing to show him right now. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm starting to bug out. I'm like, yo, what have I done? Have I engaged somebody? So I'm like literally feeling like I've made a mistake because now I might have put myself in a position where I've shared information you know what i mean like with yeah. somebody who might not be all there like this is what i'm truly thinking you know right. so yeah. i'm like so that's why i write back and i say i want nothing to do with this y'all got it and then they're like well you're not the only one that has his information by the way so we're just going to present it to him ourselves but we didn't want to do that without going behind your back um and we we just we just wouldn't morally feel right so we want to present it with you so i'm like nah y'all got his number y'all know other people that know him go ahead and present the shit I want nothing yes, to do yes. with it. And That's then they were exactly like, no, but it has, your, it has your company logo on it. I said, no, no, no. Take that shit off. I got plenty more. They were like, but some of your ideas are in there. I said, no, no, no. I got plenty more where that came from. That's right. all you. Go ahead. These are the words verbatim. Yes, that's what happened. So initially, 
they wanted to send it. She wanted like to send it just without you because we were. And I'm like, to send me. The, I'm like, send me the document so I could see it. I'm trying to see what they're even thinking is so great to show him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and they so, won't even send it to me. They're like, no, we're not sending it to you. You're gonna put us on the phone with him, and then we're gonna put present it to him together. And I'm like, oh, these bitches coming at me crazy. Fuck them. I said, if you call me one more time, I'm blocking you. So yeah, she called me one more time. I blocked her. So we never got to talk about a seventy dollars or two hundred fifty dollars. That's not a scam. Right. That you did something for me and I, I I told you I was gonna pay you for it, and then you disrespected me and played with me and thought that I was about to pay you or even be in contact with you to even know that or remember that I had to pay you. I couldn't even remember that I had to pay you because you were so much so busy posting slander on my name and freaking me out to where I'm thinking, do I need to call my boss and let him know that there's some bullshit going on online? I'm over here stressed out. How do I tell Ye and Bianca about this? Mm -hmm. I'm not thinking about no fucking 250 or the fucking underwear that you went and got me from Target because I was I was extending my trip and didn't have enough clothes packed for my vacation like or my trip whatever you know like this that's not scamming there there's right. it's it's a bit more nuanced and layered than that and so yeah right. thank you Myra for being here and confirming that but my my question would be like if you were in my shoes uh -huh. what would you have done so 100% so the way that that all went down to you told the story 100% exactly how it went down and so on the back end we had made that dot that like deck or whatever that we sent over to kanye that he got eventually but it was they wanted to send it to, to him directly because steven had given us yay's number and we're, well he's like just send it to yay just send it directly who cares and we're like well we don't have his number and then he gave it to us and then i said and i felt like i didn't want to do that because i felt like we worked on this together like you brought us into it so i said i don't want to do it without jewels but then i felt like also scared to go against Emily because as you guys can see she's like a bully like so it's really scary like when you're working with her like that when she gets like to this unhinged way it's really really scary so I was like I don't know what to do I don't want to piss her off because then she's gonna like I don't know what she's gonna do so I was like well let's I was trying to come up with like a common ground at that exact moment so I was like okay let's just call Jules and see if she'll just like want to do it all together like I didn't know what to do and I was kind of stuck in the middle so that's how the phone call ended up happening. Obviously, now to answer your question, yes, like I totally understand exactly why you felt super like you flipped out, like understandably so. And that's why I wasn't mad at you when you they were like, Dray you seem paranoid. She, Emily's like, you seem paranoid. And I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm bugging that I trust right. you. Like, no, for sure. It's totally understandable. But that's why. I wasn't mad even like when you called Dre London, I was like, I get it because in her mind, like you didn't get to get, you didn't get to know me. Like you and I didn't get to know each other. And I was like sad about that because I'm like, I would have loved to work with Jules because I, I feel like you and I operate a lot alike. So I'm like, I know that this would have been like a really cool opportunity and like a really good thing had we all been able to work together the way you had already originally set out for us to do. And then like all this stuff happened, but yeah, it, like I understand why you flipped out and why you acted like that and why you were upset. That's why I wasn't mad when you called Dre because I'm like, she doesn't know like who I am and she's just thinking that these are like weird people doing this to her. So yeah, I I agree. I agree with you. But hey, gu hey guys, could I just say something real quick? Yes, ma'am. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to address like, uh, because I've been on the space with Yes Jules and as well as um, Kanye Post. So I've heard a little bit of both sides. And um, Yes Jules, I think that, you know, we weren't really able to hear uh, Kanye Post's piece um, in this space because you were kind of talking over her. Um, but from what she addressed in the other spaces, and it was very clear to me, uh, was that, um, you know, she did something for you and she wasn't properly compensated for it until after, uh, I guess she was hitting you up multiple times and then she eventually went public on it because she paid for that underwear or whatever. Um, and then she said that she got paid by you after the fact. So I think that's where he literally already is. explained the entire fucking thing. I am so sorry, but like, no, I know, and but and everybody yeah. already heard, been thoroughly everybody fucking heard explained Emily like, and her um insulting. Everybody heard that, so it's not a case of. Uh, to be we fair, both it was and, both sides. Both no, but I, each other. I'm trying to be fair. Ace, though. I'm it was both sides. Though, I'm not trying, it, exactly I'm not because so not, okay, imagine being that. attacked, slandered but, to the fucking ground to the point of losing your job. No, right. yes, sorry. go ahead, Casey. You can't because we already like we already. I'm just trying to be fair. Like, no, but I hear, I, know, Casey, but I hear what you're she saying, didn't Casey. Say her piece. I didn't, she didn't say her piece, and then because she was insulting. Last, 
Okay, okay, yeah, I understand that. But to but say the word is scam the last... is slanderous no, because it's he not could that, have though. no it Can is I finish. Go ahead. Can I finish. It's not just that. So in the last space that you had with us, like as the Kanye team, I was in the space, not the one of yesterday, but the one uh prior to you getting fired. Um basically in that space, you you know, we have a lot of young fans in the community. And so when you come in these spaces and you're connected with someone as big as Ye, obviously you're going to get a lot of people who are interested and want to work and do and contribute as much as they can because that's their celebrity. But you kind of give this impression, and I'm trying to say this because this is my personal opinion, um, that sometimes you sway people in a direction. I, I, I'm sure you have good intentions, but maybe the way it's processed or put out there is that you have a lot of people that, you know, will believe you when you say certain things, even if like you don't what? promise it. Like, for I example, mean, when, yeah, for example, when you were talking about, you know, like all the ideas and what you want to create, uh, oftentimes, like, you know, you mentioned about how, okay, I want to reward you guys, like for your hard efforts, if you guys do something. Then you went into the conversation about, you know, possibly doing something similar that uh, they do in uh, Roblox or Fortnite or something like that with the coin. You brought up the Yeezy coin to be able for fans to get rewarded if they contribute work into, you know, the creative field. But the problem with that is when you say things like that, it, it's it's you got to be it's 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 sensitive because you're getting a lot of young people that will believe anything. I'm sorry, but you know, they're young. So I started this space by saying that we were ideating and that my ideas were my own and that anything that we ideated about or discussed would at the end of the day still need to be presented to and approved by yay. And the easy coin, and I was very coin was for the app. Not yeah. It wasn't like a, it wasn't like a currency. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that, but, it I was a gate. It was a no, means no but but Casey, Casey, I think you uh, maybe you got a different impression the, because the 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 yay the 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 coin thing was not to reward fans for contributing ideas. It was for what could happen in the app. That's very. It was no, a game. I know. I know. No, but I you know. don't know because you said that I was talking about it. In yeah, like a, that's that's like, different. No, what I mean is that you have to be careful with your words in the community because a lot of people no, are but but, work but wait, let's contribute. these are two different things these are two different things you just said a fact you claimed that i was talking about Ye yeezy coin or yay coin in terms mm -hmm. of uh compensation and we're telling you that we were talking about it in terms of a video game where we're driving through the desert and collecting coins etc and an app like a subscription yeah, we were app. Concepts about... for an app, not con not not rewards for fans contributing. So, their I just ideas. want to be careful That's because different. when you say I need to be careful when talking to fans, you also need to be careful when saying things that were or were not said because this is how I got fired because people didn't even join the space and just saw what people on good ass subreddit were writing, trashing the space that we had, and went and took screenshots and showed it to Yay. And yay, I don't think you were shots. doing anything wow. with bad intention. I, I'm not saying you're coming from no, a bad I, I, and place. I'm not saying I don't think you yeah. think I am. I just I just want to be very technical when we speak, you know. And I understand what you're saying. I think my mistake was this: one, not everybody in the space could be heard. So there's people who left the space feeling like they didn't get to express their opinion or or talk about their idea, et cetera, and that's going to put a, a bad taste in people's mouth. So I didn't, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't forward thinking on how to solve that problem. And number two, um, even though I put a disclaimer at the beginning, like, oh, I, don't I, I don't know. I, it's like, it's like, I don't know. A part of me feels like I should I should be free to be able to ideate and discuss and go back and forth with, about ideas with you guys, especially if I say this I, is I like not that. representative of the team. You know, this is just me as an individual who, who could report things back to the team. And all I ever say is report back. I never say, oh, this is for sure. And the only reason why I mentioned the word reward was because I wanted it to be known that I appreciate your efforts, that I appreciate the energy, that I see you guys and I see the work that you do all day, every day, day in, day out for years for this man. 
and that I see the value in that. And I think that our marketing budgets and our UGC budgets, instead of going to agencies and paying them to go get the, the most top influencers in the world who are already rich and popping and making money and paying them to post stuff, that we should go to the fans and give the fans the money and say, go make carnival videos, go make talking videos, let's make Bestie go number yeah. one. What are your ideas, Yeezy, Icy, Spicy? Oh, you're throwing streaming parties? Here's $2,000, let's go. That's my vision. And that's what I was trying to say, like, reward you guys, like, as you guys are organizing, like, we're talking about ideas, and, and as we're talking about it, I, I implemented that thought so that you would know I recognize that this is work because I, too, am a fan who was able to turn what I would do for free into what I do for a living. Yeah, but the thing is, is that how you even said previously is that you can't make any promises, right? But by you kind of saying, even reward, right? Even saying the word reward, I know what you mean. Like you want to be able to recognize the work that is done, that people have contributed. But even saying the word reward already kind of like riles up people to think or have a maybe a misconception that, oh, if I do this, if I do this work that, you know, that I can help well, contribute to help, yay. Like then people will have a bad like an idea. But she that never is not said real. we were gonna be rewarded in this space though. Let's be clear she about did, that. Though. She never she said did, she just when did said she I said that? maybe we she can said reward she would like want this, to. This is what I would okay, want but to do. Putting it out there is, is already alluding but to the fact to discuss the no, ideas it's not. that I have anyway. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, okay, like, nice. like, like, this is like, this is we're going down. Yeah, we're going down <laughs> too dark. Like, this my is, point this is, is just that you have to be careful with how you word things because, like I said, I don't know exactly, you know, and stuff like that. But I'm very I, careful. I just want to make sure because some of the fans, that's what the scamming, quote unquote, scamming could can can seem like, right? Because then you're selling an idea or you're 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 riling Listen, people up in just... the community to do something, to create something, and then in the end, it, it doesn't go through or follow through, then people have this idea. I'm not saying you're a scammer, but I'm saying like that's where it could kind of come from where like people are saying that about me. Jules, I so Casey, I appreciate uh, that point. I think you definitely did a good job of uh, explaining that. Jules, I have a question for you, um, and then I'm going to get to you, Byer, because I know you have your hand up. Um, Thank you. Like, Jules, like, I was kind of riling both of you up a little bit, but most of it you guys did on your own. And there was a lot of hate, I felt, between both of you when you guys were going back and forth. Like, do you feel like you um, losing your job was attributed to her? Be Absolutely. Like, uh, like what, she started what would you give, like, a smear percentage? campaign against... But I don't care. Like, it's not, I'm not blaming anybody. And I'm, I'm grateful because I believe that everything happens for a reason. So there's things that, you know, I'm not going to discuss right now. Maybe one day when I'm, I'm ready to, to speak my piece, I will. But let's just say I'm at peace right now. Like, I'm happy. I got to chill by my pool today. I got to be with my dog. Like, I got to spend time with my family. Like, I'm good. So I'll start there. Second of all, and I believe that everything happens for a reason and what's meant to be will be. But second of all, um, my anger towards Emily, it, it also is just frustration because I had good intentions by inviting her to speak and say like, hey, let's move. You know, I see that you you are capable of giving grace. Like, you know, let's do that. And maybe it was like a little spicy of me because I was like speaking on apologies, et cetera. But like, I just can't be fake. I just can't be in the same space as somebody who purposely slandered my name and called me a scammer and tried to make it more difficult for me to put money on the table to provide for my family because she's upset because she doesn't like me. Not liking someone, calling them a bitch, saying you don't fuck with them. That's one thing. Trying to like trying to create a whole narrative is a whole other thing. And I have proof that she went out of her way to try to get me fired multiple times, writing emails, sending this, like just creating these narratives. And so, yeah, I don't fuck with her. And I wasn't about to be in here and see her in this space and not voice how I felt. Well, we, and yeah. she was rude to me first. And that's why I responded the way that I did. But I really tried not to like call her out her name or anything. At first, she just kept coming with that. And the, the conversation was initiated to 
patch it up and move on. And then the insult started flying. Yeah, I mean, it was peaceful for a bit. But then, yeah, it was kind of... You know I where it started? The, the Coke comment. The Coke 